How to install Oxygen OS 11 based on Android 11 from the OnePlus 8T on the POCO X3 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here. Back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Oxygen OS 11 based on Android 11 from the OnePlus 8T on the POCO X3 Pro. Now what are the prerequisites for this video? Well for starters you need to have an unlocked bootloader then you need to have a custom recovery installed. The developer recommends you to use Orange Fox recovery but me personally I prefer to use TWRP so we are going to use that for this video however you can follow the steps on orange fox as well next thing make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform a format data and you are going to lose all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device next thing you need is access to a usb otg or if you do not have a USB OTG, a micro SD card, because that is what we are going to use to flash the ROM, which brings us to the question that what are the files which you need. Now, all the files which you need are linked in the description of the video. And the only file which you need is the Oxygen OS ROM, which is this one, OnePlus 8T file for the POCO X3 Pro. And again, links to all the files which we are using in this video are in the description of this video so here we are i do have the poco x3 pro which right now is running miui 12.5.1 stable do note this is the international variant of the poco x3 pro however the process will work even if you are on the indian variant of the poco x3 pro next up we can go into password and security and remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once now why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we are going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device now some of you are going to ask me what if i do not remove the accounts well in that case you will have to sign back in to your google account when you boot into oxygen os because it is going to detect a factory reset so to avoid that situation i prefer to remove all the accounts beforehand now once that is done we need to boot into our custom recovery so turn off your device and once the device has turned off press and hold power and volume up power and volume up at the same time till you see the recovery logo so here we are in twrp recovery and for starters let me go ahead and remove the case so that i can attach the usb otg drive so here it is i have attached the usb otg drive to the poco x3 pro first of all let us go into wipe advanced wipe select dalvik data and cache again make sure only Dalvik data and cache are selected and then swipe to wipe. If you ask me where are the options for system vendor which you used to see on POCO F1 Redmi K20 Pro, we do have a separate video explaining dynamic partitions so you can see that in the Android custom ROM basics playlist on my channel. Next up tap on the home button go into install here in select storage and either you are using a micro SD or USB OTG. So in my case, I'm using USB OTG, select that and say, okay. Now you need to navigate to the folder where you have the ROM. In my case, the ROM is inside this folder called X3 Pro Factory. And here is the ROM itself, OnePlus 8T, open beta 6, Android 11 for the POCO X3 Pro. The underscore file can be ignored. That is for Mac OS time machine backup purposes. So we are going to select this file and then swipe to confirm flash so as you can see the flashing process has finished however we have got some errors we are going to figure this out later in this video for now tap on the home button go into wipe format data type in yes and then tap on the check mark on the bottom right as i mentioned earlier format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device and as you can see we still got the same errors so tap on the home button reboot and select system now an important thing to note over here is that do not panic i repeat do not panic because the device is going to loop at the poco logo 
So there it is, you just saw the POCO logo disappear and now it will come back to the POCO logo and it will keep on doing that. And there it is one more time. So I was just trying to show you what's going to happen. Anyways, we are in this boot loop, press and hold power and volume up together, USB OTG is still attached. Again, we are in the boot loop, press and hold power and volume up together, USB OTG is still attached. We are going to boot back into our recovery, which is TWRP recovery and there it is we were pressing and holding power and volume up while we were in the boot loop till we saw the twrp recovery logo now as always touch drivers do take some time to load up as you can see usb otg is still attached next up go back to install select storage select your usb otg then select ok scroll down to the same folder x3 pro factory in my case one plus eight drom again and then swipe to confirm flash and there it is you can see this time we did not get any of the errors we were getting the previous time and if you get these errors these can also be ignored your read only file system about vendor next tap on the home button now another pro tip if you get error 7 while flashing the rom make sure you're going to mount and none of these are mounted so system system ext product vendor odm none of these need to be mounted if they are unmount them and then install the rom again anyways we will tap on the home button go into reboot and select system and there it is you can see this time around it is waiting at the poco logo for some time and in fact we do have the oxygen os boot animation which means we are booting into oxygen os 11 based on android 11 on the poco x3 pro feel free to disconnect your usb otg because we do not need it anymore and there it is we are about to reach the setup screen here it is let me skip the initial setup real quick and we are on the home screen let us open the application drawer go into settings about phone here it is device name oneplus 8t android version is 11 oxygen os version is also 11 security patch is from june 2021 the kernel they are using is oof kernel and there it is peeps that is how you install oxygen os 11 based on android 11 from the oneplus 8t on the poco x3 pro and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.